VR support, but most notably, Oculus support is here on the Zephyrus G15, baby, and it's working, and it still makes absolutely no sense to me. In my last video, I was explaining that whenever I plug- Oh, hey, what's up, dude? In my last video, I was explaining that whenever I plug my Rift S cable into my Zephyrus G15's dedicated GPU port, the USB Type-C port being an adapter, I would get nothing but a black screen on my Rift S, as was the problem with many other people, including Quest users that wanted to use their link cable. So after I uploaded that video, I decided to do a little experiment. I took my laptop over to my brother's house, who has a Valve Index, I plugged it up and I didn't test any games or anything, but I immediately got a display into the headset, which told me, okay, VR must work, but this must be an Oculus issue. And then I got a comment on the video from a guy saying that he got his HP Reverb G2 to work with the laptop perfectly fine, no issues. So to me, that was a little two for one there. We got other headsets working, but for some reason, we're all having issues with the Oculus headsets. And then I woke up to another comment in the video. A guy saying that he got this working by simply going to the device manager and updating his AMD display drivers. Okay, I thought I did that before with no luck, so I decided to check it out again, and once again, inside of that and the Windows update, it just told me that my drivers were up to date. But this time, I decided to go to AMD's website and download a fresh driver install, and just completely started out fresh. Really simple, open the program, installed the drivers, restarted the laptop, and I immediately got a display on my headset as soon as I booted up Steam VR. Oculus Home was showing up, Steam VR was showing up, and as you can see in the gameplay here that I'm gonna be showing you, I was able to record some gameplay going into uh, Pavlov and Boneworks. I said Pavlov, that wasn't Pavlov. We were playing Contractors. I also did a video on Contractors. You can go check it out because it's a really cool game that a lot of people aren't playing. So it seemed all was good. Uh, the games were actually displaying through the quest. I could see what I was doing and it worked as it should. I plugged it into the laptop and it gave me a display. I didn't have to do some weird brute force disabling the AMD drivers to force the NVIDIA to work and then that makes the, the visuals all glitchy and stuff. I just plugged the headset in and it worked after I installed new drivers and that was about it. That being said, there were a few visual oddities like in between the games loading, the maps loading in contractors, it would show the Steam VR loading screen. Maybe that's just a weird quirk that I never noticed before within the headset or the way this laptop set up. I don't know, but the game seemed to work fine. Also, just a few minutes ago, I put the headset on to test it out and it was just, it would show the display for a second and then go back to a black screen. But after I restarted my laptop again, it seems to be working fine again. I think it's a little quirky, but uh, for what it's worth, it technically does work. I was able to get into games, play games, and actually play them pretty good. Um, but that'll be a video for another time. I can't verify whether or not the link cable actually works with this solution of just updating the AMD drivers uh, manually. If you guys have any luck with that, be sure to drop it in the comments. I would love to know, and I'm sure other people would as well. Oh, also when the Oculus program comes up and inside of the headset, it'll still tell you that the laptop doesn't meet the minimum specifications, even though it boots the game up and runs it just fine. I've also seen comments about this in forums when it comes to other laptops using the Oculus headset, so I think that's just a weird laptop quirk, but as long as I can get in and play the game, who cares, I guess, right? In conclusion, it's still pretty glitchy, but it does seem to work. Again, if you guys have a link cable and you're trying this out, please post a comment and verify your success. I've also seen a couple more comments before I've got a chance to record this video that it was working fine for them. So this must have been a recent driver update or something. I haven't seen anything official posted, even from Oculus. I tweeted out to the support team and they had no idea. Well, you know, that was kind of a generic response that they give to people, but whatever. To you guys waiting on another normal video for me. I really do have something in the works. I'm going to be recording that very soon when I get the chance. I got the props in the background for it. You don't even know what's coming, but it's going to be sick. And if you were curious as to what using VR with the Zephyrus G15 is like, as well as just daily driving this thing for all of your tasks, whether it's just video editing, gaming, or gaming on a 4K TV like it's in the background over here, I'll be doing a whole video about daily driving the Zephyrus G15. That's something that's gonna be coming a little in the future though, but if you're interested, subscribe and stick around for that. Anyways, all that being said, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one and maybe I help somebody out with this video, hopefully, because this was really stressful when I first got the laptop. I was like, what the hell, dude? $2,000 laptop, can't even run VR, come on. 
But um, seems like we're taking some steps in the right direction here. At least now it's usable. So uh, yeah, then to you guys. I'm gonna go back into the virtual realm. Have a good one. Mwah. All right, Daddy's gotta stop the recording. Get off.